you know, I've been on this this walk about this this journey for about two and a half years now. I really had to just stop everything so I could listen and and tune into that voice. Like, who is Nia? What is she? I felt like there was more of me to be offered up. So I wrote a little book called The Little Apple Tree, largely wrapped around relationships. Um, and I woke up one morning and I I knew I had to write an allegory about divorce. Because in my relationships, one of the things that I have found is that I felt like I just bent and twisted and tried to accommodate the, the relationships that I was in. One of the beautiful things about The Little Apple Tree is that everybody... Everybody sees themselves in it from a different place. You know, for me, I look at it and I see I have been the apple, the little apple tree and I have been the farmer. I've been both in my lifetime. And depending on where someone is stand, sitting in their lives right at that moment, they relate to this one or that one. And there has not been anyone that I know of that I've interacted with that has read this book that wasn't very deeply affected by it. Okay, so what I wanted to share with you here is I have a book. Now, it looks like a children's book, and it's very simple, but it's something that I woke up in the morning and I thought, I need to tell this story. And it was written in three hours. Three days later, there was an illustrator. It's one of those things where I followed a line of inspiration and stuff just lines up for you. And um, this is my heart. The, the Little Apple Tree is, is a story about a young man who dreams of being a farmer, and he goes into a little country store and finds a little apple tree. He takes the apple tree home and he does his very best to keep her safe by putting her in his little barn and watering her and keeping her safe out of the wind and the rain and the soil and the sun. And when she tries to stay small for him so she can stay inside the barn, she's trying to stay small and he's trying to keep her safe. And they love each other, but it just doesn't work because she can't keep from growing and eventually grows up and out of this barn. She stands up fully in, into the magnificent apple tree she was always meant to be. And by her doing that, it teaches him how to be the farmer. He always knew he was meant to be. I think you could apply it to almost any area of life. I mean, you could, you know, career, family, children, because life is nothing but a bunch of change and a bunch of growth. It, the book is for parents and it's for the kids. Yeah. It, it, was, it was written very um, smartly in that way. I was just like seriously captured. And then, I mean, with the words with it, I, I mean, it really just tells itself, like the whole thing. It's unlike anything that I've ever read or experienced, honestly. It was an experience, to be honest. <laughs> This could be the principle, could be a gift for all the teachers because this is, I mean, it applies to so many different things. That's really it needs to be put into the schools. Yeah. The teachers need to read it to their, it would cause so much conversation. This is the relationship like, hey, stop trying to accommodate each other. You love each other. Stand up and be exactly who you are and know that in the being of that, you are loving the person to the greatest capacity and offering them the greatest opportunity to know their own brilliance. This is a relationship book, but first and foremost, it's a relationship book with yourself. Like it's about your own relationship with you.